What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs. Cap through Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. This is for the sign of Scorpio for September of 2022. This can resonate if you have support to any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamish of your charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with rest. Free general collective reading. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all the recent donations. If you like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. For anybody that is interested in a personal reading, they are open. You have to text me to book. You don't pay until we uh, agree upon the scheduled appointment time. Okay? Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you think anyone else will like my channel, please feel free to share it. Okay? Number 45 or 41 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 45 or 41, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 45 or 41. Oh, I did receive a couple channel messages as I was meditating on your energy, um, Scorpio, for September of 2022. I heard um, learning a good lesson and not lying was the first one. Learning a good lesson and not lying was number one. And the second one I heard, um, oh crap, what was the second one? Oh yeah, a Scorpio is about to deliver very important information on a coven to the FBI soon. It's about to make things move fast. Um, so learning a lesson in not lying. So energies can be reversed. So only you know if you've lied about person, people, place, or situation, not anybody else. So somebody's learning a good lesson on not lying. That could be you or somebody you're connected to. How that resonates, Scorpio, okay? Or maybe somebody lied on you and they're learning a good lesson about not lying. However, that resonates and applies, okay? And the second one, I heard um, a Scorpio. So a Scorpio is about to deliver very important information on a coven soon. To, I heard specifically to the FBI, so Federal, Federal Bureau of Investigations. I heard it's about to make things move quickly. So whoever you are, Scorpio, masculine or feminine, though you're high vibrational, you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, and values, and you're about to uh, deliver this information on the coven to... The FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation. So I think the COVID is in the United States of America. If that resonates for you, kudos to High Vibrational Scorpio about to do that. I heard it's going to make things move fast. We have Tarantula and Tiger. So I strongly feel you. some of you guys are dealing with fire sign. For some, you could be dealing with two or two plus fire signs. In fact, strongly, I feel a lot of you guys probably are dealing with two or two plus fire signs. You are, they can have Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamer, Jupiter, Charts. If that resonates and applies to you, Scorpio. And then number 45 and 41 could be significant numbers. We have Purity and Acceptance. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Scorpio. Experiments to this year, I'm sorry, Scorpio. Police contact soon. For one, you got paid under the table. In the past. Police contact soon. Um, for one, you got paid under the table in the past. It's about to have to be repaid every single penny. Okay, so one of you guys about to get police contact. So, um, however that resonates and applies. But I feel for one of you guys, all those messages go together. Of course, you only plug the message or messages in how they resonate. But um, one of you guys about to get police contact. So, they're about to contact you. So, however that resonates and applies for one. And for one, I feel you got, um, you're about to get the police contact because you were paid under the table by the police, is what I feel. Dirty cop energy or dirty precinct energy. And I heard it's about to be paid back, have to be paid back every single penny. So you plug it in how it resonates. For some, I don't feel you, you know, were dealing with the dirty precinct and getting paid under the table by dirty cops and what have you, what have you. But I feel for at least for one, you were. And that's just the truth. 
Um, for others of you guys, I feel um, you might get contact from the police for some other kind of reason, is what I'm saying. So you plug it in how it resonates. Do not, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Compliments from an admirer and good fortune. A Taurus is falling head over heels for a feminine energy. Masculine Taurus, know this. You tried to lure this feminine energy in with sex magic in the past, but it backfired on you. This Taurus is doing it the right way. Now. Oh, okay. Scorpio, if that resonates for you. So, you can be masculine and Scorpio. Whoever that, how, however that applies, but whoever this is for, uh, a Taurus, a masculine Taurus, he could have Taurus in any aspects of his chart, but I heard he's falling for a femme energy. I didn't hear a sign on the femme energy he's falling for, but I strongly feel it might be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, because there's double um, fire sign in here, but, um, and it's coming up in your reading, but I heard he's falling for her and he's doing things the right way now. But I heard you tried to manifest her in in the past, but you did it through sex magic, but the sex magic has backfired on you. So only you know your story, not anybody else, Scorpio, if that resonates for you. Um, I'll be right back. I apologize. I need to go flip my burger patties. Oh, they're prime rib and they look so good. Hold on. All right, I apologize. So yeah, so whoever that's for, it's a Taurus energy, a masculine Taurus energy, but um, you try to manifest this feminine energy in through sex magic in the past, but it has the sex magic has backfired on you, but he's manifesting her in the right way, um, whoever this Taurus is. He's coming in very strong in your reading, Scorpio, if that, if that message applies for you. Tarantula, a federal trade commission investigator is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. Very significant. Illegal business of the past. A Federal Trade Commission investigator is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. Illegal business of the past. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, Scorpio, some kind of Federal Trade Commission investigator is about to become very significant in your life. Illegal business of the past. So um, whoever that's for, I feel... For some, you could be the investigator. For some, you could be the Federal Trade Commission investigator. But I feel for a majority of you guys, if that resonates for you, you're about to get contact from the Federal Trade Commission investigator regarding some kind of illegal uh, business of the past. Maybe you partook in the illegal business of the past or you knew about the illegal business of the past and you were like accomplice energy and you knew information on it. If I was you and I get, uh, and I get contact from them, I wouldn't be covering for nobody. It's not smart to cover for nobody. It's smart to protect yourself. If anybody needs to hear that, okay? And I'm just being serious. Tarantula, because it's going down, whether people wanted to or not. And it's coming out, whether people wanted to or not. I heard because it's going down, whether people wanted to or not. And it's coming out whether people wanted to or not. So people have to accept the fact that this illegal business has went down and, it, and it, the information's coming out. Whether they want it to or not is what I feel. But you plug it in how it resonates. Good Lord. Tarantula. Oh my God, whoa, 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 uh, whoa, 
Well, I don't know if I should put that on here, and that's just the truth. Um, whoa. Uh, <laughs> holy crap. Okay, uh, Scorps. Um, uh, <laughs> you, uh, uh, okay. Um, I will edit this, um, because, you know, I have to watch what I say on here. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so, um, let me put this in a nice way. What are you guys is about to um, have sex in? You're about to have sex soon, and basically, whoever you're about to have sex with soon, um, it's a femme energy, um, and you, um, you're masculine, if this resonates for you. You're masculine, and who you're about to have sex with is a feminine energy, and I heard basically they have a, um, ooh, let me put this nicely. They have a, um, They have landscape, a uh, lots of landscape in their, they have lots of bushes in their area. Um, and it's going to turn you off. That's what I heard. It's going to turn you off. Um, so basically they don't trim their area or they, maybe they can't afford a razor to shave it. Maybe you, you know. I don't know. Or maybe they just don't like to shave it. But somehow somebody's about to come across a hairy snatch. And I'm just being for real. <laughs> I'm for real. You're a dude. You're a masculine dude. You're about to sleep with the thin chick. And she either doesn't believe in shaving down there. Or she doesn't want to shave down there. Or she can't afford to shave down there. But there's going to be a hairy snatch. Um, I'm trying to say that very nicely. I really am. I don't know how else to say it. Okay. Um, so be careful. Um, I heard it's, it's going to turn you off. Um, so, you know, you can always be nice and just never contact the person again or just tell them you don't want to date them. Um, however that resonates, um, I, I don't know. Yikes. I don't know. Why do I get that in here? God. So this is the hairy area. I don't even think they try to shape it. Um, now, you know, some women, but here's the thing. I don't judge that because some women... Don't believe in shaving down there. Some shave it off. So, you know, it's all in their personal preference. So, if it, you don't like it, Scorpio, you can always move on to somebody that believes in that. Because, obviously, you believe in that. So, you know, we have to respect people's personal preferences. So, it just probably be smart to move on. Um, if that resonates for you, okay? Whoa, why did I get that? Oh, my God. Tiger. Burning bridges. Burning bridges is what I just heard. Burning bridges. So this could be you burning bridges or somebody burning bridges with you. You plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio, but some kind of burning bridges. Um, I feel like burning bridges and letting the, the baby burn. And that's just the truth. Like up in flames. Accepting the bridge has been burned, whether you burned the bridge or somebody's burned the bridge with you. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, it could be a fire sign you burned a bridge with or a fire sign's burned a bridge with you. You plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. A Scorpio's father is about to pass away soon through many series of chain of events. You were are, you are a heavy black magic wielder in the past and part of the karma is him passing away. But intuit, you're highly intuitive and you know this. Okay, um, he's very ill right now. Okay, so a Scorp Okay, so if this resonates with you, you're a Scorpio former black magic wielder. So you don't wield anymore, but you used to, whoever you are. You could be a man or a woman, Scorpio, but you were a heavy dark arts wielder in the past. You don't anymore. But your father right now, it could be a biological father or a foster father or or somebody you call a father or what have you, what have you. But he's very ill right now. Um, right now in the universe, but I heard he's about to pass away, but I heard part of the negative karma of you doing all this black magic wielding in the past to benefit you or others or yourself or what have you, what have you. I heard part of the negative karma is him passing away. I think he might have gotten ill because of your dark arts is what I feel. I didn't hear that, but I intuitively feel that. Um, and I'm just being for real. Um, but I heard he's about to pass away. It's part of the negative karma. So I think you might have made him ill. And I hate to say that, but I'm serious. 
Uh, possibly. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Only you know if you've wielded dark arts in the past or not. And I'm serious. So, that's terrible. But I heard he's about to pass away, but that's part of the negative karma. But I heard you're highly intuitive and you knew this. So, you, obviously, you, you're versed with dark arts and you knew the universe was going to have to take something. And it sounds like it's about to be in the form of your father. My condolences to him. I'm serious because that's terrible if that resonates. Uh, accepting the fact he's about to pass away, if that resonates, that's terrible. That is terrible. That's terrible. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone is getting a huge wake-up call. Uh, someone else. Someone else. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. That's terrible. Tiger. It could be a fire sign father, possibly. We have fire sign energy in here or any other sign. They have Aries, Leo, Sag, and they're sending rising Venus, North Wind, Venus, Jupiter, charts. If it is, possibly. Tiger. <clears throat> Someone named Miranda is about to feel very significant in a Scorpio's life. Someone named Brandy. And someone named Lucy. Someone named Miranda, someone named Brandy, and someone named Lucy is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. So someone named Miranda, someone named Brandy, and someone named Lucy is about to become very significant in your life, Scorpio. Maybe they're a fire sign, or maybe not. We have Miranda, Brandy, and Lucy. Um, it could be a first name, middle name, last name, or a nickname. Miranda, Brandy, Lucy. Um, maybe they're going to give you a compliment. Because um, we have compliments from an admirer, or maybe they bring you good fortune in some shape, form, or fashion. A Sagittarius making her pregnancy very, very, very public is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. And a Sagittarius getting a divorce soon is about to become very significant in uh, uh, Scorpio's life. So a Sagittarius about to make their pregnancy known public is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. And a Sagittarius about to get a divorce soon is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. So whoever this Sag is to you, I feel it's two different people. The one about to make their pregnancy public and the one about to get a divorce. Um, I think they're about to accept the fact they're about to make it public um, with, their, uh, with the pregnancy or the fact they're about to get a divorce. For some, they can make the divorce public uh, possibly or not. Purity. This could be the pregnancy of the Sagittarius about to be made very public, possibly, because um, purity is, um, it could be um, innocence um, of a child, innocence of a situation, um, not, not knowing certain information, or it could be pregnancy. A visit from a secret child has become very significant in Scorpio's life. For one, you are the grandmother. For one, you are the father. A visit from a secret child has become there through many series of chain events. They're not they're not they're not about to become secret very much longer. Okay, so a visit from a secret child has about to become very significant in your life. Whether you are the father of this child, like the true father, not needing paternity. Um, results, father, just saying, or you are um, um, the grandmother. Um, but I've heard through many series of time events the child is about not to become uh, secret anymore. So you and I think you're about to accept the fact they're not about to become secret anymore. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever you are, grandmother or father of this secret child, acceptance.
A CIA Scorpio agent is about to get seriously betrayed. Seriously betrayed. You're about to have to seriously accept this. It's going to lead to a series of chain of events. You're not going to like. Oh my God, you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, you're a CIA agent, so criminal intelligence agency uh, agent. Um, Scorpio, you could be a man or a woman Scorpio, but um, I heard you're about to seriously get betrayed um, by somebody. Um, I heard you're not going to like the betrayal and who likes betrayals, and that's just the damn truth. Who likes them? Nobody. But I heard you're, uh, it's going to create many series of chain of events, and you're basically going to have to accept the betrayal. So um, it sounds like it's going to be negative series of chain of events. If that resonates for you, uh, CIA, Scorpio agent, you're going to have to accept the negative series of chain of events because um, they're going to make the free willing choice to betray you, and then it's going to create negative series of chain of events. I think you're going to have to accept the situation, whatever the negative series of chain of events are that are going to be created for you, Scorpio. You are a CIA agent, a criminal intelligence agency agent, if that resonates for you, Scorpio. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. A Scorpio very heavily in the public eye is about to get wooed soon. They're going to heavily woo you. With, with sex and compliments. Want to be around you so bad. Intuitively, you're going to know this person is not on your wavelength and you're right. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, you are heavily in the public eye. So that could be out in your everyday 3D world or that could be on social media or it could be both. You plug it in how it resonates, but you're heavily in the public eye, and basically you're about to get wooed by, um, it could be masculine or feminine energy, but they really heavily want to be around you. They're going to um, give you lots of compliments and really want to be around you. Um, it's I think a lot of you guys, you're fortunate, or you've got a lot of money, or they think that you've got a lot of money, or um, what have you, what have you. For some, you could be a celebrity. I didn't hear you were, but you could be. Um, but there's a reason they want to be around you, but I heard they're not on your wavelength, meaning they're not on the same level you are or near your level, but you're highly intuitive and you know this. So, um, they're going to, I feel like groveling at your feet energy is what I feel. I feel like groveling at your feet energy. And I hate to say that, but I do, uh, like they're, it's like going to be trying too hard. They're going to be trying too damn hard, trying way too hard. It's actually going to turn you off. They're going to be trying way too hard, and it's actually going to turn you off. So that's confirmation. So they're going to be trying too hard, way too hard, and it's just going to turn you off. So do not be tempted to lower your standards. Um, it's this person or people. For some, I feel it could be two or two plus people, and you're heavily in the public eye. This resonates for you heavily. Um, I mean, they're going to give you compliments. They're going to come in and say whatever they want you to say, uh, whatever you want them to say they're going to do whatever you want them to do i mean you will have them have them period point blank bar none in the bag baby but it's not it's you're they're not gonna it's not gonna do it for you whoever you are you're highly intuitive and um you're on a different level than them and i'm just being i'm not gonna be mean i'm just being serious but you know you are and it's it's not gonna do it for you so uh, you might love the attention and you might love the compliments and you might love the wazzy 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 but it's not going to do it for you because you know you're you're on a different wavelength um and i don't feel this is for some it could be financially because we have good fortune but i don't feel it is i feel it's other ways as well whoever this person is uh, or people F heavy feminine energy heavy heavy feminine energy so it's heavy feminine energy about to do this um you plug it in how it resonates so don't be tempted to lower your standards and you're going to get a lot of attention a lot of admiration but it's just not going to do it for you scorpio if that resonates for you
A Scorpio is about to fail an online class. And a Scorpio is about to be put on academic probation. A Scorpio is about to fail an online class and a Scorpio is about to be put on academic probation. Holy crap. So one of you guys is about to accept the fact that um, you're about to be put on academic probation or you're about to fail a class. Uh, this is education um, in here. Whether it's, um, whether it's academic probation or uh, failing a class, you're about to accept the fact you're about to get put on academic probation or you're about to fail a class. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, however that resonates. Compliments from an admirer. Low vibrational karmic energy, very strong, very strong. Low vibrational karmic energy, very strong, very strong. So I think you're about to get a lot of compliments from low vibrational karmics. Um, if that resonates for you or you're around a lot of low vibrational karmics, how that resonates and applies, Scorpio. Heard low vibrational karmic energy strong. So, I mean, I think you're already around a bunch of low vibrational karmics or you're about to be. Karmics are people that don't want well for you. Um, however, that resonates and applies. Good fortune. A lot of financial abundance for one Scorpio. For one, you're about to see somebody else get lots of abundance. And it's going to piss you off. For one, you will be happy happy for this person. Okay, so you plug in and it resonates. So for one, you're about to get a lot of abundance. So congratulations. Um, it could be for through business or businesses or through workspace or two jobs, three jobs, side, side hustles, what have you, what have you. Um, lots of abundance for one. For one, I heard um, you're about to see somebody else get uh, a lot of abundance. So a lot of good fortune. Um, and for one, you're go it's going to piss you off, and for one, it's going to make you happy. So you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. Only you know where you fit in this situation or situations, not anybody else, okay? Someone in your community's career is about to take off. You really don't want it to, but it is about to. You're a low vibrational Scorpio masculine and a low vibrational Scorpio feminine. Someone in your community's career is about to take off. Uh, if that resonates for you, you're a low vibrational Scorpio masculine and Scorpio fem. So you don't treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. But it's somebody in your community. You don't want this person's uh, career to take off, but it is about to take off, um, and you, you don't want it to. So you're going to have to accept the fact that it's not your life, it's their life, and their career is about to take off whether you want it to or not. I feel your karmic energy to them, or you used to be, and I'm just being for real. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day, and namaste.